Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be taking a look at the insane Apollo IE. We actually have two of them here as part of Riyadh season out in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia at the car show. This though is the craziest I think spec I have ever seen on a car ever. It belongs to ML, Fast Cars and Guns. We've seen some of his cars before. We've seen the IE before. That's the prototype actually. But we're hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to push them hard. Going to get a start up to hear what it sounds like a little bit later on. I want to show you though some things about this now that the car has reached production but also go through all the details of this spec these things are just insane literally as close as you can get to insanity in a road going car only 10 apollo ies are ever going to be made production spec cars the first one and the second one have just arrived but this thing just look at the design of it now i got to take a first look actually before the car was ever publicly revealed got to share that with you guys when it was shown for the first time and we've been able to hear them a few times since and this thing sounds insane you've got a six 6.3 litre naturally aspirated V12, one of the most tremendous exhaust systems you've ever heard. And look at this spec, and look who we're joined by. Imagine one in purple, though. Could you imagine purple with white wheels? Would that work? <laughs> purple that would with work. white wheels. Well, this is kind of purple. It the is. crazy thing about the design and the colors of this car is it's got a dual flip flop. It is insane. It's got the kind of gold and green upper section of flip flop, and then, and then it's the got the lower purple. blue and purple. Yeah. I'm, I'm loving it. All of which is exposed carbon fiber. So you would spec it up. I think so. Satin purple. I think. Yes. Satin yes. purple Sat with white purple. wheels. <laughs> Match the so event still. Original. <laughs> I think it would look cool. Well, when are you when are you getting one of these? I wish. There's what, 10 in the world? There will be 10, they're all sold. Yeah. Two delivered, more to come next year. The thing the thing is though, I don't know how you feel about this, but you've, we've, we're surrounded by hypercars at yes. this event. We're surrounded by Bugattis, Koenigseggs, the Valhalla's just over there, all of them. Yeah. And then you come and look at this thing, and it's just on a different level. It is a different level. Like, your eyes are just drawn to this. It's so outrageous, so outlandish. Like, dude, Apollo, they're making a mark in the yeah. hypercar industry, absolutely. And the cool thing as well, it's kind of a rebirth of the old brand, the old Gumpert Apollo yes, yes. track car. In fact, there is There's one of those, like amusingly, just over there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Apollo bought the rights to the brand, uh, bought what was left of the brand when they went bust at the time, and came back with this. Full carbon monocoque, full carbon body, full carbon everything. The production car, do you know what? I don't know if you would spot this, but I've been trying to take in some of the differences from the prototype into the production car, because of course always, right. more years, more engineering, Absolutely. more regulations to en enable them to basically be road legal but your spot down at the bottom on the splitter that like central section between the splitter and the nose that's been slightly reworked oh you're right the aero has. profile i never noticed that no you, you wouldn't but they they managed to make what was originally a concept right into, into the road production. car yeah that's amazing but still With so subtle changes which is still this mental in every way it's like it's like when you start looking at it you've got canards canards you've got these little fins down here they've had a, a number of different racing drivers kind of driving the car and testing it all out. ML's done all of his nice touches. Dude, you can't take your eyes off this car. There's so no. much like dimension and different angles. Every angle is different. You notice things every time that you didn't notice like, you know, the last time. 100%. And have a look at the interior. Did you check this out yet? Inside here, cut off top of half of the steering wheel. The seats are literally like race car seats. I feel like your feet, yep, the pedals are higher yeah, than the, the bottom insane. position. Harnesses all built completely into the, hey, the tub's even dark blue carbon as well just but straight dark blue carbon. There are three different colors of carbon here. We've got the flip-flop purple blue, the flip-flop orangey bronze, the straight blue, <laughs> the, gold, the gold stitch, the gold central leather, the gold around the steering wheel, these touches. And uh, I'm, I'm reluctant to actually touch anything because we're walking around on this grass and I know if I do, we're gonna get a nice static shot going on. But uh, the doors going doors, they had to make some new hinges. They re-engineered the fuel tank system car of course sitting here on the on the charger so hopefully we're going to be able to i was just saying hopefully oh it sounds so good like this v12 absolutely screams it might rival the zonda v12 for the best sounding v12 in the world maybe it's definitely louder definitely louder oh definitely louder. this is massively louder i.e intensa emozioni intense emotion and look at that exhaust system it's titanium titanium yeah. titanium yeah. exhaust back here with the uh craziest shape of any exhaust system ever and then you've got this diffuser that goes all the way through supported by those struts I, I, actually this is just normal black exposed carbon we've got oh, four yeah, different four, colors four, of exposed yeah. carbon here this is the design like I, I don't know if you get it on the camera in the same way that you get this car when you're looking at it 
but no. all of the shapes, all the shapes, and the shapes of the wing as well, double layer, wing attached with a kind of shark fin all the way through to the roof snorkel, as wide as the car, literally as wide as a wing can possibly be. Um, I, I mean, the designer of this car literally managed to make it all connect perfectly. You would think on paper it's just like a crazy lines everywhere, but it, it, it works. It and that does. is uh, Joe Wang, whose signature is here on the, uh, on the dashboard, the dashboard topper. Oh, we've got some wheels. Familiar's. Ow, I oh, got a static geez. shock. What? I did it. I did I it to myself. I that from over here. <laughs> Are you okay? Whoa. Yes. Um, yeah, this thing is absolutely crazy. And with the sun setting on it as well, the colors just keep changing. So if you stand at this angle, you see every different color. You see the right. goldy bronze on the front. You see the greens around the rear. You've got the purples at the front of the splitter. You've got the blues around the side. You've got those red painted accents. We've also, don't know if you guys noticed this, red center locks on this side. And on this side, we've got gold center locks. Different from one side to the other. Man, crazy, crazy, crazy. I actually think it looks pretty cool in satin black as well. Oh, it's the ultimate battle wheel, satin black. Yeah. Could you imagine if you were like on the road and that thing like pulled up next to you. Well, like, you'd hear it coming about you. a mile before like, it gets to you. I mean, that would leave such an impression on me. You can actually see, I think, on the satin, a little bit more of the craziness of it. Can, For yeah. example, the way you've got the headlight integration running up over the arches, these louvers over the top, and then around to the rear as well, you'll be able to spot more of the tail lights and the way they are almost that uh, similar Y kind of shape integrated into the rear bumper. Man, right, who do we have to ask to make sure we can hear it? I don't know, we gotta find that gotta person. Find somebody. Whoever they are, we will do anything, anything. Might take a little bit of time, but we'll see what we can do. We're joined then by Michael, how are you? I'm good, Tim, nice to meet you again. You too, and congratulations on this. Thank you, thank this you. Thing is, I hope you like it. <laughs> it's turning heads. Oh, it's really? turning heads in a big, big way. Yeah, and uh, so, we gotta... The steering wheel just pulls off. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Here and there we, there we have a... Uh, the, the trophy. <laughs> well, it's kind of like Formula One. Motor you want to take style, it right? home tonight? Yeah, if you're offering. I mean, I mean, can I take the car that's attached with it? Yeah, yeah, you can, but I don't think you can drive it tonight. <laughs> no, 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 sadly not. But, um, I mean, you, the spec of this car, yes. I, I mean, with your previous car that we've seen, of course, the, uh -huh. the Koenigsegg Aguera ML, yes. you, were, you were pretty crazy with that spec. Right. What was, I mean, I know the car's nicknamed Golden Dragon. Mm -hmm. I, inspiration or like ideas? How did that come about? Okay, what happens is that uh, I, I did mention in some of my posts about the Golden Dragon, <laughs> all right? In the East, Dragon is good. Yeah. It brings, it brings uh, peace, you know, prosperity, health, mm -hmm. and uh, positivity. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, so when I decided to have a chameleon golden dragon, yeah, it changes color in Completely. different tones, in different colors, uh, different lighting, mm -hmm. and it it sort of encourages people to you know to be able to adapt to changes in life. Okay. So basically, okay. that's the philosophy. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> huh? There's a story. There's a reason. Yes, it is. That's it is. cool. Nice. Night has fallen, but I didn't realize that this is actually a light. It illuminates the ML logo on the side. Oh, wow, that's really cool. <laughs> so how's that done? I don't even know. I thought it was painted red when I saw it the first time. Yeah, it's red. Uh, it's uh, electric light. Okay. Yep. And you can buy a BMW by just painting it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how cool? How random? Look at the colours as well. Now that we've got a the night on it, night light on it. This is really, really cool. And we might, we might very shortly be able to hear that one. Let's see, fingers are all crossed. Have a quick look here at the screen. So you've got the large central screen, either side of it, you have the extra displays, which work off the cameras underneath the mirrors. So you do have the traditional mirror, but you also have the ability to just see your views either side of that. And if we press the P button here on the steering wheel, you can change to the different displays. So the ABS map and the brake balance down at the bottom, 50-50 at the moment. You can change all of these different elements. There we've got the different engine maps, wet, sport and race, changing the amount of power. This is really cool. Charging control settings, vary that. Whoa, lots and lots of data and details. And then back to the main screen, uh, gear in the center, RPM to the left, I guess to the left and the right. 
speedometer stuff there as well. That's a really, really cool display type setup. And you've got all of your controls um, around here. Is, so ABS, TRC, uh, different driving modes. This is this is quite a thing to behold, really. When you take in all of these details, just all the touches. Love it. It is about to be time then. We're going to be hearing this. Stradman's come back over. Excited. Yes. Every time. To be honest, it's surprisingly quiet right now. So I feel like as soon as this fires into life, Ooh, everybody's going to come over. Everybody's going to congregate. It's going to sure, be. For sure. Yeah, we've been seeing a few cars starting. You know, there's a lot of nice cars around. But this, this is going to sound. Well, you might have heard it before, but it's going to be loud. It is one of the best sounding cars ever. Naturally aspirated V12 and oh, a noisy one at that. The screens are on, the buttons are on. It's time. <laughs> the sound of that. Kicking into life. And yes, people are coming very quickly over here. a flame out the back there of course now the crowd is dispersing after we've heard that my ear needs to uh, just take a second to kind of normalize itself because that was really really pretty loud um but it's such such an amazing sound that this car actually makes really 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 good just to see a bit more of the inside back on this car how was it it was amazing and painful at the same time it was so wasn't balance it? between the two yes. more amazing than painful but still very painful when you're standing that close for the first Last time you did it, I was like, ah! Yeah, that is insane. <laughs> did you see the flames? Yes, it's flame out of the bottom Crazy. exhaust. It runs very, very rich, hence yes. you get the flames out of it. And just, yeah, this thing. Mental, <laughs> mental, mental car. Oh, if you had to choose one. Golden Dragon, sand black, Golden Dragon. Dragon, you take the black one. You're, cause you're more no, of, I'm a colorful guy. But you're more of a Batman kind of guy. No, I'm a colorful Dark car guy. Mysterious, you know? No, no, colorful cars. Colourful okay. cars are my thing. Uh, I'll take, hey, if you insist, I can take this. That's fine. I'll yeah? That. I won't we'll go get the keys. We'll go get I'll just wrap it purple, though. Oh, this is, pur this is actually purple carbon. This is actually purple. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. is. So we're just That's the, that is the original purple carbon one with the gold yeah, it wheels. Is. It is. While we're here, we've got to also take a look at the Tommaso P72. 72 units of these to be made, a stunning work of art. Look at that interior. We're going to hear this start up in just a moment. This is the prototype, sister company technically. This being the prototype actually has currently a V12. You'll hear that when it starts up. But the final car will have a supercharged V8, still in development at the moment. But just look at this car. We saw it a few times out at the Quail, I think at the Goodwood Festival of Speed, a few different events, but now just seeing it here as well under the night light look at this color look at the uh, metallic flake that you have in the paintwork it's a stunning stunning thing but uh yeah any moment now we're going to hear firing into life from that exhaust mounted there right at the back and um it's all about the design when it comes to this the red and gold let's take a listen then as it comes into life <laughs> from the IEs just over there and again I suspect by starting the car up it will quickly uh, draw the crowd around but...
Branchett as well. <laughs> His camera likes to take a look at this. This guy was late. He missed it. Next That's time. why you're the best. You're the machine. No, you right now. You're the machine. Your cars. You're super. You're tuning. You're like. You're like. How do? How do? I don't, I don't, yeah, but I didn't get the revs of the day. You didn't get. You didn't oh. get the revs of the uh, the P72. That's true. That's true. And it sounded very nice. Yeah, I could hear. I could hear from a long ways away. It sounded kind of like the IE, to be honest. It sounds insane. Though. This yeah. car. I like this car. Back then with the Apollos, cars that just sound phenomenal and huge congratulations to Fast Cars and Guns on one of the 10 production Apollo IEs. Look at the colours now though, under the bright lights here at the evening, much more of the green and gold kind of colours, less of the blues and purples. But you have these contrast areas where you've got those louvres, where you have the side intakes, the lower side skirts, the way the snorkel is painted. It creates such a visually striking car as if the Apollo IE in any normal form isn't to be Begin with what a sound though what an amazing thing to see and to walk around and take a look at here at the car show as part of Riyadh season I've enjoyed this an awful lot I hope you have too thank you very much for watching that's it for today though looking here at the Apollo IE and I will see you again very soon cheers